All right then, welcome back. Here we are at Unit 2-5, here uh, still in Holt uh, Chapter 7. So, remember if you see these, here's your icons here. You, by now you're pretty familiar with those, uh, what to do when you see those there. And we're still in Standard 2.0. And today we're going to learn to add and subtract some polynomials here. Add and subtract polynomials. You might say, what's a polynomial? Well, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, you're going to see some examples here. If we add polynomials, to add a polynomial, what we're looking for here are things that match perfectly. So for example, 2a squared plus ab plus 2b, those, those are all in parentheses, plus you're looking at 4a squared minus 3ab plus 9b. So what I'm going to do here is take a look. And to add polynomials, we're going to line up like terms. So notice we put some red marks there underneath each term. And right about now, what do you think these red lines mean? What can we do with like the line that has one, uh, the term that has one line under it, the term that has two, and the term that has three. If you look carefully, the uh, term that has one line in both of these sets here of numbers, uh, both of them match, a to the second power, a to the second power. And how about the one with two? It has a, b, has a, b. Now the coefficients are different, the numbers out front, but that's okay. We're just looking at the exponent and the base, they must match perfectly. So we can simply line these up. We can take the ones that we uh, underlined here, 2a squared and 4a squared, notice they're lined up. We have 1ab and negative 3ab, they're lined up, and 2b and 9b are also lined up nicely. Now since they're lined up, we can add like terms. We just simply take the 2 and the 4 and put it together, and we end up with 6a squared. Notice we're not changing the exponent. Uh, sometimes there's a temptation to add the exponents as well. We're not multiplying here, we're adding. So the, the exponent stays the same. What it comes down to is, uh, we don't know what a squared is, but we have two of them. And we don't know what a squared is, but we have four of them. If you put the two and the four together, we now have six of these things, we don't know what they are. And that's okay that we don't know, we just want to count them and add them up. How about one and negative three? So would you end up with negative two a, b? And finally, two b plus nine b is indeed eleven b, as you might suspect. So there's your final result. I know the answer looks um, unpleasant, it looks, doesn't look any better than the question, but that's exactly what we do here when we're adding polynomials. Add polynomials with all terms that are not alike, that are not alike. So let's take a look at this, see what you've got. Notice you've got y to the second power and y to the first power and 3. Here you've got y to the third power, y to the second power, and the number 2. So something doesn't match here. Let's see, you've got y to the second and y to the second. Those guys are going to match. But it looks like the uh, y to the third looks like he's out of business here, right? So if we look here, this matches with this one. And this whole number here matches this whole number here. But it uh, looks like we got some people without some friends here, like this guy and possibly that guy there. Okay, so let me go back to this. And let's take a look. What we'll simply do is when we're lining them up, we're just going to leave gaps here. So this will like be, this essentially what high school teacher might put down here is something like this. They might put 0y cubed plus here plus 0y. Now you can or cannot do that. It's up to you how you want to write it. Um, some people leave blanks in the gaps there and some actually fill it in with zeros. We'll just go ahead and leave the blanks as long as you know that we're lining up the base and exponent and the whole numbers properly. So we know that 0y cubed plus 2y cubed is just going to be 2y cubed. And if we put these two together, what's a 3 and a negative 2? Well, it's going to be a 1y squared. 2y plus 0y is still 2y, and we know 3 plus 2 is 5. So we cannot do anything more with this because we have uh, exponents and bases that though they look the same, the exponents are all different. Exponent of 3, exponent of 2, exponent of 1. We don't combine those. Just leave them all as separate terms. All right, what about subtracting polynomials? So when, we, when subtracting integers, change the sign. Now here's a really weird math word, subtrahend. The subtrahend is the number that follows. So if I say 5 minus 1, 1 is the subtrahend. Okay? Uh, and follow the rules for addition. So we're going to change the signs of the second polynomial, and then we're going to add. So jot this example down in your notes here. You've got 4c squared plus 2c minus 5, that's in parentheses, minus this 
trinomial here, 2c squared plus 4c minus 2. Because of the subtraction, in algebra it's much, much better to add. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to addition. When we do so though, there's a price to pay and it's not very steep, but we're going to have to change the signs inside the second parentheses. A negative before parentheses sign changes all the signs in the parentheses because of the subtraction rule for integers. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll leave the first guy alone, the first polynomial here by itself. Notice we changed this to addition and we changed all of these signs. This went from positive 2c squared to negative 2c squared. This went from positive 4c to negative 4c and from positive 2 to negative 2. And now we can just add them up like normal. 4 plus negative 2 negative is 2c squared. 2 plus negative 4c, 2c plus negative 4c, negative 2c, and negative 5 plus negative 2, we should end up with negative 7. So the moral of the story here is when you see that negative sign, we're going to basically add the opposite. We're going to add the opposite of all the terms that are in here. All right, let's look at another here. Uh, let's get a little hint. It says if the problem is already written in the vertical format, change all the signs in the bottom group and add. So if you've already got them stacked, like this problem here, notice the subtraction sign. You can change this subtraction to addition, but make sure you change all these signs down here. So there's your subtraction sign. Go ahead and change that to addition, but what's the opposite of positive 2y squared? Should be negative 2y squared. What's the opposite of subtracting 3y? Should be adding, and the opposite of positive 4, d is negative 4. And now we can add straight down, 3 and negative 2 and so on, okay? And be sure to change all the signs in the bottom polynomial. So y squared plus 5y minus 1. Okay, try this one on your own here, 3y squared, uh, 3a squared plus 2b plus 4 plus 4a squared minus 3b minus 2. All right, why don't you go ahead and give that a try. What you might end up doing is starting right there. So now would be a good time, maybe you pause the, the video real quick, try the problem, come back and see how we did our answer. All right then, uh, let's see, let's hope you're back. So we've got 3a squared plus 4a squared is gonna give you 7a squared. And positive 2b and negative 3b will give you a, what's that gonna be? Uh, negative b, and how about a 4 and a negative 2? We'll give you positive 2. All right, very good. How about this one? Uh, let's see if we try this one on our own. Now, this is going to be a subtraction one. So you've got this polynomial out front, 5y squared minus 2y minus 4, subtracting this inside parentheses, 2y squared minus 5y plus 7. So what did we learn? What we learned was change that subtraction to addition and go ahead and change all the signs inside the second polynomial or the fancy word that's subtrahend. So we switch this to addition. Notice this positive 2y squared becomes negative 2y squared and then all the signs change. Okay. Add straight down and your answer looks something like that. 3y squared plus 3y minus 11. All right, that's it for uh, unit 2-5. If you'd like more instruction, Go ahead and pause the video We're right here at the end, and you can look that website up, type that keyword in, and look at those video examples. Each of those video examples is very brief, two, three, four minutes tops. Make sure you jot down a question for us, okay? All right.